But um, let's let's check in with these awesome group of sinners and heathens out here in the in the live audience. What uh, what do we got for us today? I think uh, our buddy Jamie from Texas. What is up, man? Well, yeah, I'm a filthy, dirty, dirty heathen, and. <laughs> In seriousness, I actually do Bobby. have a, a bit of a point about religion and discipline. Yeah. Mm. I was personally not really in a religious sort of experience, but I was in a relationship and having someone to be answerable to, even though the relationship was less than ideal, kept me disciplined. I may not have been the happiest I was ever in my life, but I was certainly the healthiest. Mm. And a lot of people turn to religion or have religion be part of their way of keeping their discipline, staying away from drugs or alcohol um, or uh, just keeping themselves on the straight and narrow in terms of being a good person. And I'm wondering what alternatives can we offer? Is it safe to take people out of those circumstances when it's the only thing keeping them from self-destruction mm -hmm. or or, or uh, self-sabotage, because I've had serious problems with self-control. I think you probably tell which one of my top three favorite uh, deadly sins uh, is, but yeah. I think it's thoughts lust. on that? I think it's lust. What do you <laughs> think? <laughs> top three. <laughs> what, the, what do you think about for me. that, Christy? I know you've yeah. got some thoughts. Well, so as a, as a mental health technician, uh, I guess I will say that I don't want to play word games, but I do want to push back a, a little bit against that idea of I was healthiest when I was in this like really authoritarian system. Health is more than nutrition. That's not to dismiss it. That's not to say that these things aren't important. But any time we start to say that health is only this or only that, right. we end up start making little sacrifices and really cutting corners. And if you are absolutely miserable, I'm going to make the argument that you are not particularly healthy in that moment. So just to say that, yeah, when we are taking away somebody's religion, we are potentially disrupting their lives in that way and things are going to compensate, but it's not a bad thing. Now, that phrase, of course, you and I are not going into anybody's homes yeah. and like stealing their religion from mm -hmm. them. Uh, but it is fair that people who have traumatic experiences with religion are going to need to heal from that, are going to need to recreate meaning the way we talked about earlier. They're going to need to find new things to compensate. And all I can really say about that is it can be a very long journey. Um, I, I love to recommend uh, Leaving the Fold by Marlene Winnell. Uh, I, of course, want to shout out organizations like the Secular Therapy Project and the Reclamation Collective as incredible ways to uh, start that journey. But, yeah, I, it's hard for me to really say... Well, you know, your life is miserable, mm -hmm. but at least you were, you know, free of drugs and alcohol. Sure. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's a, it's a hard place, I think, a lot of times because, I mean, I, I don't have that goal of, of stealing somebody's hope, right? Or, or mm -hmm. stealing somebody's, you know, ability to, to be disciplined or whatever. I, I just think we can do it better. I think right. we can do it in a way where we have less harm to ourselves and others, find more of, uh, of that meaning in life that, that our last caller was talking about. Um, I, I just think we, we have some of those things already. We, we really do. And if we step away from that thing that is making us miserable, well, okay, maybe, you know, maybe we have one or two more beers this week, okay? You know what? And, and fuck it because I'm going to take that and that, you know, potential detriment to health over the detriment of, of the mental and emotional abuse that occurs, mm -hmm. right? Not, not to mention the physical abuse. I mean, it, absolutely, I think we, we have better tools. We have better options than this. And... Let's go for it. I mean, I, I know that it can be a struggle, like you said. It, it, it was for pretty much all of us, I think, right? And um, that being said, I, I think I'm at my healthiest I've ever been. 
Yeah. Like, no, I, I definitely hear that. Uh, yeah. Religion may offer some people a form of discipline that can be incredibly supportive, but I think we all know how that can be a little bit of a sham. Yeah. You know, we don't have to get into too much detail, but if you start looking at statistics around some of our, quote, vices and, you know, things like pornography use or, uh, you know, uh, alcohol-related driving accidents or, or things like that, we don't see them immediately disappear when we start studying a more religious area. Right. Uh, and, in fact, we very often see the opposite. So, you know, let's something to think about. Yeah, we, we, uh, we like to call that in the, in the skeptic uh, communities some evidence. 